Hi everyone, Matt here from MRKWP. Welcome back to the channel. Recently, I found a small little problem when I was using LearnDash, and I had this issue with topics that were showing up in my SEMrush reports having this error called a missing canonical. And I thought, gee, how do I even fix that? What is it? Why do I have to fix it? In this video, I'm gonna tell you how. Let's jump on in. link. It's pretty much a little bit of code within Yoast SEO that tells a site page that it belongs where it should. Why doesn't it work with topics for LearnDash? I'm not 100% certain, but I think this is because my courses are free pages that are open for everybody, whereas normally you may put the canonical link or the page that should be indexed by Google as the top level course page. When it's all open, it shows up in a sitemap and then you end up with URLs in your sitemap that may shouldn't really be there. So in my case, I do need it there. You'll have to check your use case scenario. If you have all of your lessons and all of your course material, except your top level course pages outside of Yoast, you should take the approach of turning everything off in Yoast for the sitemap and turning those items away from search itself to say, don't show these in the search index. Um, so the search index for the site is separate to that. You want to just make sure they're not shown to robots or to your sitemap. If, however, you're like me and you want it all public, then this solution is going to work great for you. Okay, so here you can see these errors that I had. So I always check my error report and I found this 33 incorrect pages. And then when I looked at it, I thought, okay, what is this? So I open it up. And there's the page, there's nothing wrong with it. You don't need to be logged in or anything. So how do I fix it? Well, I just copy the URL, go edit topic. Okay, and then I scroll down, go to advanced here, keep scrolling and then paste. And that's got the URL in it and then go update. That removes the item from the SEMrush report. So that fixes that. If, however, what you wanted to do was go to your dashboard and then go to Yoast, you can also go into the Yoast settings. So I click on search appearance. And then inside of here in content types, you can go to your topics here and then decide what you want to do. So show in search results. This says not showing topics in search result technically means these will have a no index robots meta and will be excluded from the sitemap. So if you've decided to set your topics, lessons or other materials um, like quizzes and you want to hide them, you would just turn that to off like that. And then that makes all of them no, no longer be in a sitemap and the issue will be fixed for you. That's the best way to do it if you're not putting your content that way. For me, I want my quizzes to be off in search results. So I'm going to put that there and I don't need SEO settings for those either. So then I go save changes like that because you can only see a quiz if you're logged in. So there's no point at showing up in the sitemap at all. So now that I've done that, what I do is I go back to my SEMrush report and go through all of these topics and add their canonical URLs and that problem will be fixed up and will no longer be causing a problem for my site. Okay, so look, I hope that helped you understand a little bit more about how you can go about creating fixes for your SEMrush audit reports. Remember, the better you have those SEMrush reports done, the better you're gonna rank in Google, the better Google can understand your site, that all, all these things are there for good reasons and it improves usability for the end user. That's why it's important. Well, if you liked the video, give me a thumbs up Check the links below for descriptions and links to the blog and other things that we use. And I'll see you in the next video.